Hello, everybody, and welcome to Benjamin Magnus and crew, Bundeser Bob, uh, Commissioner Roach, and Mordred Viking play. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Play. I'm sorry for that sticking now. <laughs> Supreme Ruler Ultimate. What, we, what, what is the uh, the name of this? Sorry, Trump Rising? Trump Supre Rises? Supreme Ruler Ultimate, the 2017 scenario, Trump Rising. Trump, Trump, Trump is a rising. Uh, please tell me America is orange. Let's it, zoom in. No, it's blue. Oh, because that's the color of freedom. <laughs> freedom. I do, in fact, have oil. That is amazing. Rock on, England. I think it's funny. Is the map looks so good when you zoom out, and then when you zoom in, it's just like, oh, the resolution is so terrible. So who are we playing against, Ben? What's going on here? I'm uh, I'm Poland. Uh, my my goal in this game is to not get killed by Russia. <laughs> oh, no. uh, there we go. Yeah, Kamish, what are you? I'm Romania. <laughs> I expect him just to not reply at some point. It's just... You know, it's at this point. Fuck it. It's a uh, <laughs> I've accepted my fate. This is my life now. <laughs> um, Fine, I'm playing as. I'm playing as Romania, uh, so my main my main goal is to. Uh, uh, I'm not actually sure what I'm planning on doing, but I definitely know Bulgaria is not going to be around when I'm finished with it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I would suggest make, making oil, exporting it to the world, and profiting. That's the, that's a, that's a, uh, mm, Romania. I mean, at this point in time, not the best oil fields. Uh, I mean, I have some, but. Uh, to exploit the shit out of them. I have I'm trees actually, in, in wheat. I'm pretty sure I might go with the uranium export. Well, Bob, what about you? What about me? Who are you? What are you doing? Oh, I am glorious uh, Bundesrepublik Deutschland. Or Germany, for those in the common tongue. So, so Bob, <laughs> I just thought of something. You might get a kick out of this. And this, uh, I, I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll you'll get the reference. But you, we might be involved in a situation where Germany is marching across Poland to fight Russia. Uh oh. So my, we might well get that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> of course, they are there to fight Russia. That there is for some reason, there. you guys aren't being picked up on my desktop audio. Why is that? Hmm. Start over. Um, check the output. Could be that. I mean the the output source. Maybe changed sound card. That's what happened to me last week. How do I fix that? Uh, what are you using to record? OBS Studio. Um, click on the little wheel next to desktop audio. Let me just ah mouse. There we go. And then properties. Oh, here we go. Down. WTF? Why is that not a thing? Okay. Everyone should be audible now and stuff. Marvelous. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. I got level. If you'd like to know what we've been saying, you can definitely take a look at the other perspectives <laughs> in the description. Yeah, I'm cool with that. That's fine. We can we can just roll with that. We don't have to start okay. over. So how do I tell, like, what, what resources I have in my? I, what, what? Oh man, oh, Roach. Time for tutorial 101. In the top, in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, there is your minimap. On the top left-hand corner of the pop-out for the minimap, there are two small buttons. One of them looks like a pile of bricks oh, with a triangle in front of it. Ah, you there we that, go. And you can look at that. There you go. So is, is darker red gooder? Yes. The darker the red, the more resources available. All right. So I got, I can do food. I could, I could get lots of wood. I got coal. Oh, boy. A good thing, a good thing to start out with for your uh, <clears throat> for your various building projects would be to go uh, to your bottom left hand corner where you have all of your little buttons. Go mm -hmm. to your uh, supply slash commodities tab, which is the one that looks like a box. Click that, and then look at the various resources that are available in your country and see what deficits you currently have. Well, I don't have any. I, I, I'm running a huge deficit on rubber, but I can't make any of that here. Actually, you can technically. It's just a, it's more expensive. Because uh, you can make synth rubber rubber from uh, coal. For some reason, I have like 50,000 tons of uranium. Actually, <laughs> coal is the one thing I have in, in ample supply. 
and nobody feels like buying it, apparently. Yeah, a lot of people have coal. Bastards. <laughs> How dare they, you know, develop their countries. I know! All right, so research. Let's see. No, we're not doing that. How do I pick a project? Uh, I know this part. No, that's a research center. There we this go. Is, okay. This is going to be a good series, I can tell already. Yeah. How do I do this? I don't know. How do I do this? I know how to do research. I know how to do that. I know how to do that. I was just I was looking for the button. Actually, All right. What do Polish part. people need? Is there any pierogi based research? Hope. <laughs> What you can do, Ben, is if you build lots and lots of, like, agriculture, uh, that feeds the people, and they're happy. Okay, okay, so... That anything... improves your domestic approval rating. I should switch is not that good. All right, so let's say... Maybe under advanced recycling. I don't know if Polish people care about recycling. Oh, the Dutch can have anti-proton colliders. I think that sounds like a, a good use of my technology. It's a thing. <laughs> it's definitely a thing. Commercial application of RFID chips. Let's, let's chip all the poles. It's a great idea. Of course, now I'm being told in the chat that peasant happiness is overrated. <laughs> all right. So well, you are Angela Merkel, so <laughs> she's being elected somehow. <laughs> I'm going to trains. The Dutch know trains. Their trains usually run on time. Let's make better trains. That's mm, dangerous. Oh. I once remember a fellow that had made the trains run on time. Look where he ended up. Maybe we'll uh, export the Minister of Transport to Germany. See what they can do. Ooh, there. clean coal might be a good idea. Well, there will be a, there, there will be effects. Uh, if you have your mouse over it, there'll be an effect that's uh, like a plus or minus something percent or or an unlocked research, etc. Yeah. Coal gasification. I don't think I need nuclear weapons, or how to, Poland cannot into space with me in the, the helm. You can be. Uh, there is a, um, uh, there are uh, races for technology. Like, there's the race for the bomb, the space race, the internet race, and the man on Mars. Uh, I think the, the only one that's currently not done is the man on Mars race. Uh, but we're not going to get to that anytime soon. But uh, that is that is an option. All right, so what I think I'm going to start with is uh, upgrade to my coal generation. So I'm increasing my output and clean coal technologies. We're going full on fossil fuel. I know we got all this uranium sitting around, but we don't know what to do with it. So we're going full on fossil fuels. Have we unpaused yet? Nope. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to unpause for... It's, it's a bit... Uh... What's everybody else doing? Well, Germany is currently expanding the agriculture agri agricultural sector in the country right now by providing lots and lots and lots of subsidies. We're also increasing the uh, we we've announced a uh, comprehensive consumer goods project as well in the Ruhr River Valley uh, to to stimulate the economy. So we're going to be getting sub subsidies in the form of tax breaks. Romania has sent a diplomatic envoy uh, with the yeah uh, yeah there was a there was a doodle a yes. a, a, a doodlefication. Uh, non aggression pact, transit rights, transit rights, transit rights, LOS, uh, flow of labor force. You uh, wait, 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 wait. I thought, well, that makes sense. The, the, the poles emigrating, so you wait, where'd it go? <laughs> I actually, um, in my, in my Discord like a week or so ago, uh, Sergey dropped something like about a Polish plumber, and I was confused at first because I didn't realize that that was actually like a thing, a Polish plumber. Yeah, apparently that's like a meme in Europe. Yeah, like I didn't know that was a thing, so I had to look it up. And sure enough, yeah. there's like a whole Wikipedia entry like of it is of Polish plumber. Yeah. I was just like, whoa, okay. Also, so, apparently something I learned was um, like Romanian engineers are a thing. Like it's a, it's a very, it's a common like uh, stereotype is that Romanians have really good engineers. Have really good engineers. <laughs> They're good or they just have them. No, they're really good. Like, uh, like uh, what is it called? Uh, there's a shape that was made that uh, no matter where you drop it at, it will return to its default up position. I forget what it's called, but it's like you can buy them. They're like a they're like a kilo, and it's this weird shape. But no matter how you place it, it'll always go back to its original uh, orientation. 
and that was a Romanian engineer that made that. And I think also like the Rubik's cube or something was made by a Romanian. Like, like it's it's not actually like a bad stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> not like Polish plumber. Hmm. So hey, I people I, make I, fun I, of plumbers until they need them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so can I actually rubber plantation? synth rubber so i could do synth rubber yeah and if you have your mouse over it it'll show you what it needs to function and i think synth rubber needs, needs coal petrol petroleum oh, petroleum oh, yeah. so that doesn't help me i could do that oh that's what, okay yeah. synth synth oil is coal so yeah. if you want synth oil then you need coal so i could do i could do that because so let's see early coal synth consumes coal and it does, and it makes oil? Yeah. All right, I'm going to build one of those. How do you uh, cancel the production? Uh, you click on it, and in the bottom left-hand corner, you go to the land tab, which is the furthest to the left with the one that just, like, the earth. You click that, and whatever is in the tile that you've clicked will show up there, and you can click on the building you specifically want to cancel and click the scrap button. God, I wish I had picked a country where I could pronounce the names of the cities. <laughs> Aren't you Polish? Yeah, like third generation. It's no excuse. <laughs> I learned how to swear. That's it. It's <laughs> the important bit. You know, I you don't can think rename things, thing. I'm pretty sure. Both of the things that you listed, Roach, are actually Hungarian inventions. Oh, the hungry. <laughs> that's what it was. And the, oh, and the, that's the what Romanians are known for. I'm not going to say that, right? Credit. The Gombok and the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> <laughs> so the Romanians aren't known for being good engineers. They're they're known for usurping the credit from good en Hungarian <laughs> engineers. I it was it was one of those countries. I mean, there's it's not that different. Let's be honest. <laughs> okay, so I think I think my one of my initial plans is is to try to get myself a little bit more self sufficient. So I'm importing less, and I'm importing. Well, I've got a huge like strategic reserve of petroleum, but I'm actually I'm, I'm using it pretty quickly. So getting a little <laughs> bit more. You know who I hear is a lot of oil is Romania. <laughs> uh, you're not, okay, you're not wrong. Okay. Uh, uh, Poland and Germany, long time best friends. Uh, yes, post, post there was there was a square inch of Poland I didn't enjoy marching through. <laughs> <laughs> so in the Netherlands to get back to me though. Those what? Dutch bastards. Oh, right. Yeah. What? Not that I have any issue with the Dutch. They're like my fourth largest demographic. You guys are awesome. <laughs> like, I can pronounce the names of some of these cities. But most of them, no. I'm pretty sure this one up here is Groningen. And then we've got Lou Warden and Nijmegen. I know that one. What about my wife? I thought it was Nemegan. <laughs> For everyone who doesn't know that I'm Dutch, they're going to be going, ah! You're Dutch? Yes. So it's actually Groningen. Sounds Nijmegen. so American. <laughs> Leo Warden. <laughs> it's oh, actually okay. just sounded like you were from, like, the West Country. <laughs> that could be too. <laughs> I'm still trying to work out how the hell you cancel a building. Like, your instructions were good, but it meant nothing. If you... If you okay, okay, I find I find the easiest way to do it is if so. The you know building, where the land tab is. That's exactly what I just said before. Which you, you have to. Cl okay, okay. Are you clicking the hex that the building is located in? Yeah. So that the blue line is is highlighting it. Okay. On the bottom left hand, you 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 know all these tabs on the left hand side of the screen. You know the uh, the the hands joining in shaking the yep. dollar symbol the crate. Okay, there's one that just looks like a globe with the United States and South America oh, and everything. That one, you okay, click that. Right. There you go. So I'd like to freeform the PLC, which means Lithuania needs to die. Oh, don't worry, they're probably going to go away. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, the, space, the one... space bar does work for pausing. If anyone needs to pause, or have right. questions about anything. I would say the one thing that's good about Russia is that we I, they don't we don't touch each other. But then I was like, right, right, uh, Colin Grad. Yeah, that's you, you want to 
you want to uh, maybe put some of your military near there just in case. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go to because I'm pretty sure they have a they have an airport there as well, so they can fly in troops if they need to. Yeah, they got a port. They typically have a pretty sizable like naval task force out of Kaliningrad too. That's like right there, and they they field troops out of that that uh, military base is sitting there as well. So like, be aware. <laughs> Who is this guy? Fact, just they build him. shit from there too. There's three land production facilities. Would, would Paul like to engage in an arms deal? Uh... <laughs> I'm looking. <laughs> Benjamin Magnew, the prime minister of Paul, is just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got I got room for some land production. I feel like I should be doing that. Well, I mean, specifically, uh, would you like to buy some German uh, German military equipment? I hear the uh, the uh, leopards are really good. Well, I don't have any leopards to sell, but I definitely have a variety of other equipment to sell that uh, spans all the way from submarines to aircraft to, you know, actual, like, fighting vehicles. Hmm. So just out of curiosity, when you're looking at military units, the three little dots under them, there's like one dot that'll be red or two dots will be orange. Oh, uh, land combat, air combat, naval combat. Oh, it's what dots, they're good at. Yeah, okay. it's it's also like infantry, I think, only have, well, Romanian infantry only have, um, I think, one dot underneath them because uh, they're not that good. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the dots are, they're kind of an indicator in an abstracted way of how like current that unit is. It doesn't mean that they're like mystic. Like if it has like one red dot, it doesn't mean that they're like terrible. They still have some utility available to them, but they probably won't be doing like the heavy lifting for you. So uh, I'm just going to set my min minister on defensive. The one thing you want to do, Ben, or actually to everybody, and I would recommend this because it's really annoying, um, is if you go to your military tab, or you go to your military production tab, which is the shield with the wrench on it. Uh, you see these little uh, small tabs, like with the picture of the man, the picture of the tank, the picture of the tank with the cog wheel, etc. Yep. Down the side. Go to the one with the cog wheel, and you'll see like land auto build, air auto build, etc. Uh, make sure your land auto build is off, at least in the early game, because uh, building like military stuff costs a lot. Uh, and it can uh, it can bankrupt you pretty quick if your minister is just like turning out like leopard twos or something off the production line for no reason. Okay, cool. I'm just interested in coal and coal accessories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't got anything else. I got f food. So I, yeah, I just went to the defense and I, I wanted my minister and I just set him to uh, focus on defenses. I'm just building up the Dutch economy. Even mm. more. Must have more money. We're a trade nation after all. Are you? Dutch, are, yeah. You gonna I reform mean, the Dutch I, Empire? I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, in, in 2017, is that is that something the Dutch do? Yeah, still. Like, the Dutch um, stock market's all pretty big. Okay, so. Unit construction. Five. I'm going to start setting up some overflights around uh, the Baltic. That'd be appreciated. I don't know if I have any planes. <laughs> it's okay. Uncle Jeremy's got your back. Wow. So, uh, hey. Romania currently has 12 aircraft in its military. That's only five less than me. <laughs> yeah, they like surplus one people. One helicopter. Uh, Does Romania yeah. perhaps want an arms deal then with Germany? <laughs> uh, we're good. We're no, good. you don't want to. I don't even know how to the build planes. The vast, the vast majority maybe, of, the, maybe of a... the Romanian Air Force is MiG-21 SMs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sure you don't want some of these nice, maybe like Are Euro these fighters? Are these frogfoots? What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, what's what's our what's our navy look like? Our navy's actually pretty substantial. Thirty nine ships. How do you tell what you actually are? Where where your your breakdown of your? Military? Oh wait, never mind. Most of those are patrol boats. <laughs> so I'm seeing the. Oh wait, here we go. Defense. 
air. I got 20 planes. I got helicopter, 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 helicopter. I got some F-16s, some F-18s, and some MiG-29s. Ooh, we have uh, we have uh, F-16C Falcons. Those are the we have two of those. Those are our best aircraft in the Air Force. No, I got I got three of them. And one helicopter. <laughs> An ME eight. An ME eight. God damn it. I have an Apache See. attack helicopter. A single one or just Just one. <laughs> just one. <laughs> I got a lot of sh- I got a a number of subs. Some patrol boats, some escorts, some, and a bunch of transports. How do you tell the difference between ship classes? Uh, it'll guessing. when you when you look at them, uh, there's uh, there's like a little blue icon next to the actual picture, and they there's also like a three digit uh, or three letter code in front of the actual name, so it'll have like Pat, which is a patrol boat, uh, yeah, or patrol escorts, ship escort. Escort, and then like you'll have transports because there's only three classes of ships technically. There's transports, escort, and, and patrols, or and I think no, es- there's more than that. No, is that not? No, I'm thinking. I'm t- hold on, forget what I just said. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I mean, you've got so you've got submarines, carriers, yeah, there it is. yeah, capital, escort, patrol, and transport. All right, the Dutch need a capital. Oh, they are terrible. I can get the Trump capital ship. Not the Trump, but the Trump. The thing, about, what? the thing about modern day, or the thing about like 2017 is that capital ships aren't necessarily that worthwhile. No, I'm going you're to talking like, escorts. you're talking cruisers. That's blasphemy. And, and cruisers in modern day is kind of worthless. You really just want to get destroyers and frigates. So those will be escort and patrol ships mostly. Okay. Yeah, I'm building some more escorts. So escorts bigger um, than patrol, I assume. Uh, for the most part, yes. Uh, it depends on like it depends on date because like you can have a very um, old patrol uh, or very old escort ship actually be smaller than modern uh, as, uh, patrol ships. Right. So. Hey, where'd all my uranium go? <laughs> they sold it off, probably. That's what I was afraid of. I wanted to acquire all that in arms deal, all the uranium. <laughs> well, what am I going to do with it? I've got, I had fifty one thousand. Now I got forty. Well, that's 000. why I wanted to buy it via like an arms deal. I would, I would have supplied you with a whole bunch of arms in exchange for the uranium. Deal. Well, you don't have it anymore now, do you? No, I got some. I lost nine thousand of it. Okay. I'm going to say ton. I lost nine thousand tons of uranium. I don't know you can, where it you went. You can lock specific stuff. Actually, is what you can do. Did you want to go over that real quick, Roach? I'm sorry. What? How to lock uh, particular uh, resources and stuff? Oh, if you go to your, uh, if you go to the actual commodities tab where you can see all of your resources, uh, when you click on the resource, there's uh, like a, a production, actual use, etc. Right to the right of that, there's a thing that says lock, and there's a padlock there. There you go. All right, so you're not allowed to sell that stuff. I'm saving. Well, what you need to do to make sure they don't sell it is further on that panel on the right side of it. There's going to be near the bottom of it. There's going to be a stack of bricks with a green arrow. That's market exports. Mm-hmm. You just need drag to, that down. yeah, just drag everything to zero. It'll be just like I don't want to sell none of this, and then you can give it all to me. Auto sales sell 100% of surplus. No, sell 0% of surplus. Well, I'm not producing any, so we'll just keep it down. There. We'll just keep that down. So what kind of uh, arms are you willing to provide to your Polish allies? Well, I've got some submarines I don't mind parting with. I've got some missile cruisers I don't mind parting with either. Uh, I might be interested in some subs. And these missile cruisers. (laughs) It's just all these old (laughs) ships. Give them to Poland. (laughs) They're not that old. I mean, they'd be like from like the 90s. And they're they're still good service ships. I mean, they launch missiles, so... How about some? Uh, how about some Air Force for the Polish? That's exactly what I'm looking at actually right now. Well, I do I, have. I, I have a singular like UAV. Do you want that? <laughs> no, nah, no, I'm good. Uh, multi-role fighter. I'm actually, some interceptors are really good for you. I don't have any interceptors. Never mind. I'm going to build a new coal power plant. I'll tell it's you what. I'm going to give you these attack right helicopters. <laughs> Apparently, the Dutch have a fair amount of hydro potential. Who would have thought? <laughs> 
isn't that the only thing your country's good at? Is, we have is almost being followed up by trying to prevent that? <laughs> yeah, but it's in the prevention of letting the water in that we can turn it into energy. It's a thing. We can harness nature's want to kill us <laughs> for her own benefit. That's what you get for living below sea level. All right, Ben, so I'm offering you $10 billion worth of hardware equipment for $6 million worth of uranium. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. <laughs> Holy bad deal. Motherfucker. Huh? Worst That's deal. A... <laughs> Are you selling me, like, res... Are you selling me people? Reserve units? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not how this works. You you have your own stockpile of active reserve and are active and in reserve military personnel. I'm simply selling you the hardware. Okay, okay we'll figure out how to use this. Okay, that's I accept not... that. <laughs> Angela Merkel just walks up to some members of the Bundeswehr. Yeah, you all work for the Polish now. <laughs> like, like, huh? <laughs> no one track of, track time, of uranium way. rolls into Poland. Uh, we're about 25 minutes in. Alright, because I don't have track of ace or a time or anything like that because I'm streaming and all that. Did Bill uh, Exchange failure? Oh, you didn't have your uranium. You don't have the uranium available anymore, probably. Oh, that's probably maybe it's because it's locked. Let's unlock it and try that again. Otherwise, it's just going to get sold. <laughs> All right. Negotiate. Damn, I got to list the entire thing out again. <laughs> okay. Have this maritime patrol craft, because I'm a nice guy. Have these attack helicopters, because they're going to be old. They're older ones that I'm going to be replacing. In fact, have these other ones, too, because I'm such a nice guy. Uh, have the submarines, because I have some better ones right now that are going to be out on patrol. And do I want to sell you missiles? Dangerous. Probably doesn't have anything that can actually launch missiles. That's actually true. I mean, like, they're I'm all, like, size... Well, I've got some size 3 missiles, but the bulk of what I have is, like, size 6. I, I, I hardly have any, like, platforms available for size 6. Ooh, do I want to give you some ground units, maybe? Ooh, here we go. I'm going to give you a bunch of AA platforms to defend against... Oh, that's actually really good, because I'll just stack those up around and call it Grant. <laughs> Kalinin, 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 Kerningsburg, Kerningsburg. Something's missing in here. Maybe it's a patrol boat. We'll give you some patrol boats too. Anything to defend against? Oh, the, I see a Russian tank there already. Uh oh. Well, the the AI will be deploying stuff, kind of regardless, yeah. anyway. There's T80s there. Ben, how much uranium actually do you have available? Forty-two thousand. 42,000, okay. Tons, I'm assuming? Well, uh, I think this is a good time to uh, call this episode. Ben, take us out. Boom. Uh, well, let's, let's get this diplomatic doodle doodled. <laughs> Accept huh? offer. Successful. Yay! You have right. now are a proud owner of a shit ton of German military yeah, you, hardware. You, you took about 30,000 tons of uranium. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've been enjoying the series as we kind of bungle our way through one month of gameplay. Um, I sold a bunch of, your, of radioactive uh, rocks to Germany and got a bunch of outdated military equipment while me and the Romanians decided not to punch each other for a while. At least. No, it's good. It's top of line. <laughs> we'll defend country good. All right, everybody. See you oh, next time. See you next time. Bye.